By the end of the year, the number of people around the world suffering from hunger will hit a shocking record. One billion people, or one out of six, will suffer chronic hunger. Neither droughts, nor floods or disastrous harvests can be held to blame this time. Worsening hunger in the last three years largely stems from economic shocks. According to the FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the number of hungry people will increase by 11 percent. That means 100 million more people than last year. The situation is due to the global economic crisis, which in turn has caused a decrease in revenues and an increase in unemployment. Naturally, the most affected are those living in developing countries. In Asia and the Pacific, an estimated 642 million people are suffering from chronic hunger. In Sub-Saharan Africa, 265 million. In Latin America and the Caribbean, 53 million. In North Africa and the Middle East, 42 million. And in developed countries, 15 million. This is the very, very grave situation in which we are, which tended to be overshadowed by the coverage of the financial uh, crisis, the stimulus packages for uh, financial institutions, cars, etc. As a short-term solution, the heads of the FAO and the World Food Program recommend creating safety nets and social programs to increase agricultural investment and to support farmers. In the long term, they suggest providing developing countries with technical and financial solutions, as well as tools to strengthen agricultural productivity and the ability to recover from the crisis. In addition, they made a special appeal to the leaders of developed countries to not to forget the children who suffer from chronic hunger due to the crisis. 60 million children today go to school and they can't even concentrate because they don't even have one cup of food. Today in Kenya, the children that we provide a cup of food to are saving half the cup of food for their younger brothers and sisters who have no food. Recently, the general director of the FAO proposed holding a world summit on food security in order to eradicate hunger in the world by 2025.